Praise the Lord, brethren at home. We are so grateful for this moment once again. The Lord has manifested himself and has given us yet another day. Thank you so much for your great support that you are giving upon each and every person here in church. We are so grateful. Thank you for the uh, blessings that you are blessing, blessing us, for the donations, for the gifts and everything. May God bless you abundantly. And now let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you this morning because you are a good God. May you be blessed because, Father, you deserve blessings. And even now, Lord, we can see your hands. We can see that, Father, you are restoring back this world into normalcy. And I know that, Jehovah, we are going to win this war because we are with you. May you continue blessing our brethren at home with their families. May you bless us all, Jehovah, for we give you honor and glory. And for this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now today, I want to speak about pressing on towards the goal. Now, this topic has been derived from the book of Philippians chapter 3, verses 12. And it says here, Not that I have already obtained all these, or have already been made perfect, but I press on, to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Now, Philippians is a book written by Paul to the Philippians. Philippians or Philippi was given that name by Philip II of Macedonia, who was also the father of Alexander the Great. Now, this book was written by Paul for spiritual nourishment, and the direction towards Jesus for encouragement and for purification. Not that I have already obtained all this. Yani kwa kiswahili sijafika, bado hatujafika. Now, so what do we need to do? One, we need to strive towards the goal. We need to reorganize ourselves. Remember, when you are chasing something, when you are after something, when you want to achieve something, you need to work hard, you need to put effort, you need to put pressure. So we need to strive towards the goal. Everybody wants to achieve something in life. Only that everybody has his own perception about life. We need to wake up. Let us examine also the tree, maybe, for example. The, the different perception we have in life can be compared to the tree. When, when an old woman looks at the tree, she looks at firewood. When, when somebody uh, else looks at the tree, for example, an herbalist, an herbalist will see medicinal uh, ingredients in that same tree. So it is how we see life. It is different perception, but life is the same. Now, number two, we need to take a step. We need to be different and we need to focus. Positive thinking minus negative thinking is equal to success. I know success does not come just by sitting down and dreaming about it. But it is also a collective uh, work which is made through your mind by the way you think. Most people are working with people who are negative. Most people are working with people who have lost hope. Most people are dwelling upon people who don't have direction. And this is the issue. And uh, it becomes difficult for us to achieve our success. Uh, but let me just give a little bit of a joke. You know, 2019 they said, stay away from negative people. 2020 they say, stay away from positive people. No, this is Corona. Anyway, don't worry. I'm not talking about that negative and that positive. I'm just speaking about the negative energy. People who don't have light, they don't, they don't believe in anything. They, they see bad in everything that they do. And these people can affect your life. When you wake up in the morning and you find somebody complaining, and then you get along with these complaints, then the day becomes ruined and it becomes a negative day for you. Now, let us look at the story of David. David did not see Goliath as a giant, but David saw an opportunity 
when killing Goliath, he had he asked some soldiers what will happen to the man who will kill this giant. And the soldiers replied and told David that if you if any man kills this giant, will be rewarded. He will be given the daughter of the king to marry. And David has been coming from a background where he has not even enjoyed any royalty. So David took advantage of that. He didn't see the giant in Goliath. He saw what will happen after I kill the giant. So we don't need to look at life the way it is. We need to look at the victory after completing the, the obstacles that we have in life. This is how we need to view life. Even Jabez, when we look at the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4, verses 9 to 10, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. Jabez knelt to the God of Israel and he told the God of Israel, if you will bless me, if you will expand my territory, uh, and God listened and he blessed Jabez. Jabez did not have any background of any royalty. His father was a nobody. In fact, if you read the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, there is nothing that you can see there except the two verses in, in verse 9 and 10 is when you realize that there is miracle happening when, when God blessed Jabez. Jabez. And in verse 10, God blessed him. He granted him his prayer. So God does not matter who you are. He, he will bless you so long as you just call upon him. Now, I, I was, you know, the gap between knowledge and action is, is, is called effort. You know, you, you put a bit of knowledge, a bit of action, that is what we call effort. We need to put effort in small moves. I know most of us right now have lost businesses. Most of us have lost uh, jobs. Some of us are not comfortable the way we were. But this does not make us to dwell upon those. We need to focus and rethink, reorganize ourselves and know how to move even during these hard times. We need to work out. Now, another thing is to establish what we want in life. Many people don't even know what they really want in life. But if you establish that, it's a good way. Now, big things start small. You cannot, uh, you cannot wake up today to be a millionaire, or you cannot wake up today to achieve whatever you want until you put effort and you begin slowly by slowly. Just like a little baby. A, a little child, a toddler, will cramp and then he will try to hold the, the, the wall and then after some time he will find balance and then he will walk. This is life. This is how we all move. Now, we need to stay focused and we should not be distracted. Now, also, we need, we, we, we need to be strong. We don't need to give up. Even when things seem bad, we need not to give up. Now, we need to stop fearing as well. We need to stop fearing because fear means false evidence appearing real. I mean, we don't need to fear. We have God on our side. We have Jesus as our protector. And if we don't fear and we move with life the way it comes, we will see every day as a blessing. So may God bless you wherever you are. May God increase and expand your territory abundantly. And let us try to put a smile into our family members, our siblings, our children, and enjoy the goodness that the Lord has given us. May you be blessed in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.